Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps says it arrested 69 suspected oil thieves in Akwaibom State between January and March 2022. The NSCDC commandant in Akwaibom, Abidemi Maja Kodumi, disclosed this in an interactive session with newsmen in Uyo on Thursday. He stressed that the Corps had the mandate to protect government critical infrastructure and ensure that economic saboteurs were brought to justice. The suspects, he added, had been charged to court for prosecution and those found guilty would face the full wrath of the law. At number four, the Independent National Electoral Commission has said despite the insecurity and other challenges facing the country, the 2023 general elections will still hold as scheduled. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said this on Thursday at the public presentation of the 2022-2026 Strategic Plan and the 2023 Election Project Plan in Abuja. Yakubu said the election will be conducted for 1,491 constituencies nationwide, made up of one presidential constituency, 109 senatorial districts, 360 federal constituencies, 28 governorship elections, and 993 state constituencies. At number three, the police command in Kaduna State says it has screened 3,583 applicants that took the computer-based test in the state for recruitment. The command's public relations officer, ASP Mohamed Jalike, disclosed this on Thursday in Kaduna. The Nigeria police says the drive to recruit 10,000 police officers has gained momentum. Jalige explained that the force screened 3,583 applicants successfully in Kaduna between April 20th and 21st. At number two, President Muhammad Buhari has directed security agencies to immediately rescue all the people kidnapped by bandits, kidnappers and terrorists across Nigeria. Buhari gave the order while addressing security chiefs at a meeting in Abuja on Thursday. The National Security Advisor Baba Gana Mungunu briefed State House correspondents of the President's directive at the end of the meeting. Mungunu said not just those that were captured during the last Kaduna bound train incident, but those that have been in captivity in other parts of the country. The President has directed all the operational and intelligence elements to rescue all these innocent people immediately and unhurt. This is the basis on which other issues were discussed. At number one, a tanker fully loaded with petrol has crashed and exploded at Ajegule bus stop, Alagbado, on the Lagos Abiyoguta Expressway. The explosion, which occurred around 3 a.m. on Friday, destroyed many houses and properties. Men of the Lagos State Fire Service were said to have been deployed in the area. The actual number of casualties could not be ascertained as of the time this report was filed, but a man who owns a shop in the area said some residents who attempted to scoop fuel were killed. That's all for now. Please do well to get your permanent voters card as the 2023 general elections is almost here. See you next time on What's Happening.